Sales Order Agent is designed to use AI to perform its tasks while keeping users informed about key steps. The agent interacts with Business Central functionality in a manner similar to how Business Central users interact with it. It uses UI elements such as pages, captions, tooltips, and other properties to determine each step required to complete the task. Business Central includes a lot of powerful capabilities and data to help users make informed decisions. Take the sales quote, for example. Here you can instantly see all the key details, fact boxes, along with a wide range of actions to manage the entire quote lifecycle. Still, as an agent administrator, you want to make sure the agent only has access to the specific controls and data it needs to complete its tasks, nothing more. Let's take a closer look at the agent card. You'll notice the agent shares the same attributes as any other user in Business Central. Its access is also defined by permissions and profiles. You can easily verify exactly which pages and controls the agent can access by switching to the profile that's assigned to it. Notice how all the irrelevant data and controls disappear, leaving only the UI elements the agent needs to perform its tasks. The agent comes with a pre-built profile out of the box, and you can easily customize it, adding or removing pages, actions, and other controls as needed. Back on the agent card, let's explore the agent permissions. The sales order agent comes with a pre-built permission set to help you get started quickly. You can also easily review which permissions are included. Your version of Business Central may include additional app source apps or customizations that extend the process orchestrated by the agent. Just like any other user, the agent may not have the necessary permissions to work with those changes, which can result in permission errors. For more advanced troubleshooting, such as resolving permission issues or any other issues the agent may encounter, the best tool to use is the agent log entries. Agent log entries give you a complete overview of the steps the agent performed while working on a task, including the pages it navigated to, the actions it invoked, and any issues it encountered along the way. In this case, I can see the agent is missing permissions to the custom table needed to complete the task. To fix this, you'll first need to disable the agent before adding the required permissions. On the agent card page, you can also add additional users who should have access to the agent pane, where they can review and approve agent steps. You can grant or revoke ability to manage the agent's configuration. Once you've made these changes, simply enable the agent again. All tasks are now running smoothly. And with agent permissions and profiles, Business Central administrators stay in full control of the agent's access.